Greetings folks, so today we're looking at the Star Ace Batman Ninja 1-6 scale collectible So we're gonna do a quick unboxing and uh, yeah, a brief review of what the figure looks like and then the accessories that comes with it It has a pretty cool looking box I like the artwork Alright, let's open this up and take out the contents right so here it is outside the package so you see the figure it's looking pretty good it includes a couple of hands there's a uh, batarangs and uh, there's your samurai this one's uh, made out of plastic but the paint job is pretty cool in this it looks like real wood Here's the inner plastic. So there's a additional screaming head sculpt in there. And there are the like uh, armor pads, shoulder pads, I think. And then there, these are the chest pads for the war version. All right, let's get this all out of the packaging. And uh, let's look at the, the figure. All right, so if you get the normal version, this is pretty much what you'll get still looks really really good apologies for my lighting <laughs> it sucks but yeah this is what you'll get the cape is actually wired and it has multiple wires in it like one two three four five six seven eight i think there are nine wire points in it so you can pretty much post the cape however you want. That's pretty nifty. But in terms of like uh, articulation, it has like a rubber suit. So it's gonna be pretty much limited. I'm not sure if it's double jointed, but yeah, he can still bend Pretty much like that but uh, I would worry posing him for a extended amount of period with that rubber suit and also yeah I think his pants are kind of like has like a satin finish and he might have like a double jointed knees so you can bend him like that but his his armor is getting <laughs> getting on the way so you won't get as much it looks pretty good but let's get him post with the with the war war version armor right so here's the war version look I placed all of the armors that's included this looks really really good armor pads and what's cool about it was what I really like about this is that all of these are magnetic so it's, you can easily remove it and then just place it on the shoulders like that and the chest pad is something that you just insert yeah it has magnet points all over its body so you can just easily snap it back like that all of these are magnetic and this one that like has a velcro that you can attach it to yeah it looks looks awesome i'm loving this it's gonna have such presence on a shelf let me try to pose him real quick with a samurai Oh, actually, forgot to mention, the war version comes with an extra samurai. It has the same finish as the other one you saw earlier. Oh man, I'm having a hard time focusing this. <laughs> yeah, so basically you get two samurais. Right, 
Let's pose him up. There you go. Just a quick pose. Oh wow. Looks looks really good. I love this figure man. Look at that. I'm sure you can get good poses with a cape as well. I'm not real good with that, but yeah, pretty sure some folks will have fun with this. That's pretty good detail as well. But yeah, I love that armor. And there's like orange accents in it. Let's get him post on a shelf, real quick. Hang on. There he is. Man, I love this. I love this figure. He has such presence. Look at that. I'm gonna have fun posing this one. But yeah, I think this would look good. I saw like a Darth Vader reimagining, or is like a samurai warrior or something. And it's pretty cheap, so I might get that. And I'll probably keep bash like a samurai Wolverine as well. It'll look good with those two. But yeah, look at that. Let me. Zoom out so you can see him with the other figures I have. That looks really good. Okay. Thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed that very, very quick unboxing and review of this one. Catch you in the next one.